Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show you 5 motion graphics for beginners in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first one, let's create new solid layer. Add name color 1. And click OK. Then go to FX Preset, search FX Fill. Select Fill, let's use for color 1 solid layer and change color red like this click ok so select this color let's press p and move to the left and let's create new pass in keyframe go to one second and move to right so select keyframes make easy or click f9 go to graph editor and let's preview animation Okay, so select two frames, first two frame, move to the right, and last two frame, move to the left. Nice, back to two frames. And right now, let's select this color one. Let's control D for duplicate and change this name color one. And move to the right a little bit. Go to color and fill and change color blue. Click OK. And let's see. Okay, not bad. And we can move right a little bit. Okay, very really good. And say color 2, let's control D for duplicate again. And move to right. Go to here and change color like this green. Click OK. And let's move to left. Let's see. Nice, very good. And select this color 3, let's press U for C active keyframes and select last keyframe, move to left for more speed animation. Nice, very good. So, right now, select these 3 layers and right mouse, go to pre-compose, add name color transition and click OK. So, let's open composition and let's see. Okay, right now, let's press N for out composition and right mouse select full composition here back to composition and go to project select these two simple videos and drag and drop into the composition and let's move to right okay let's see move to left and select this video to go to edit and split layer or control shift d delete let's see okay very nice let's preview again Nice. So let's go to text and right here, simple text motion. And classification tool, let's change font size. And go to pen behind, move the anchor point up like this. Classification tool and go to enable window align. Click this and this icon for move the text to center. And let's enable here title action save. Okay, and let's click this checkbox for 3D layer and press R, open rotation, change X rotation like this. Okay, and let's create new X rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard or let me show other way, click time duration, write plus 10. For go to 10 keyframe, click OK and change rotation like this let's see okay and change this minus 80 go to 10 two frames change 40 again 10 two frames change minus 20 again 10 two frames change 10 again 10 two frames change minus 5 again 10 two frames change 2.5 and let's two frame change 0 so there are more keyframes, smooth and natural rotate animation. Select keyframes and make it easy. Let's see. Okay, very nice. And let's go to FX Preset Search, FX Drop Shadow. Select Drop Shadow, use for text. And change some settings, for example, distance and softness. Okay, let's preview again. Nice, and select this motion, let's move right. Okay, very good. And we can create title animations, select this, and let's 
move to left and select this text let's control d for duplicate and move to right and let's go to here and edit write graphics Classification tool and move to right a little bit let's see nice very good let's go to pen tool and hold shift let's create one line like this and classification tool and for turn off inside color go to fill options and select none click ok go to stroke width let's change stroke width like this let's change 25 and open inside contents shape one and open stroke one and as you can see here we have dashes let's click dashes and change dashes like this again let's click dashes and again let's one click dashes so let's change like these settings okay and change gap for random load lines and change line cap round cap go to first second let's hold alt and click offset for add expression loop animation or endless animation and write time and minus 200 and for down expression click this empty area let's preview animation okay very good and in this same select this shape layer one change name one and select shape layer ctrl d for duplicate select anchor point and hold shift move it down and let's open inside contents shape one stroke one and dashes let's change settings for random animation and open offset and let's double click for edit and delete minus symbol and click here for down expression let's see okay very good and in this time select this layer one ctrl d for duplicate move it down let's preview animation okay very nice so select these shape layers and let's right mouse and pre-compose add name shapes line click ok and press r change rotation like this okay and press t change opacity and go to effects presses search effect tile and let's select CC Repetile, use for compensation and change expand down and change expand up, expand left and expand right. Let's see. Okay, let's press S, change scale. Let's see. Okay, very nice. I like it. So let's go to pen tool and hold shift. Let's create one line like this and classification tool, chain stroke width and open inside contents, shape one, stroke one, change bat cap to round cap and go to add. Let's use trim path and let's open trim path one here and change end zero. Let's create end keyframe and go to five keyframes change and 100 let's see okay so go to back here and create start keyframe go to here and change 100 percent let's see okay not bad select keyframes make easy or click f9 let's see again very good select keyframes go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph Select these keyframes, move to left, and first keyframes, move to right. Very nice, back to keyframes, and close settings, select shape layer, and let's see, okay, and right mouse, let's pre compose, add the name, shape one, click OK, open compensation, 
and go to region of interest tool select a region like this let's see okay go to compensation and crop come to region of interest close compensation okay right now we can create duplicates for more dynamic animation let's select this move to left and control d for duplicate and move to down again control d move to like this let's see okay and select this shape layer let's move to right and this move to right nice and in this time go to shape layer let's create new shape layer cube like this clization tool and go to fill select white color and change name cube and go to first second let's press p and move to the left like this let's create new person keyframe go to here and move to right select keyframes make easies let's see okay and in this time select these shape layers link to cube layer let's see okay let's select these shape layers move to right okay very nice so let's go to shape layers hold this icon and ellipse tool hold shift and create one ellipse here and clization tool chain stroke with zero go to fill and let's select color like this click ok and select this shape layer one right mouse go to layer styles and gradient overlay let's go to gradient overlay and click edit gradient and first color let's use purple like this and end color let's use color white like this and let's double click here for add new color and let's use pink like this okay select end color let's change like this okay let's for now let's click ok and we can change angle like this for rotate we can use reverse here for reversing colors and scale for smooth colors okay and offset like this so right now let's go to if it's press search effect glow and select glow let's use for shape layer and change glow settings and select the shape layer right mouse and go to layer styles and we can see here outer glow let's click and for now let's hide glow effect okay let's open here outer glow and we can play settings here let's color change to white or purple click ok and size okay and noise okay not bad and opacity okay that's good so also we can enable glow here nice i like it so right now we can create animation for example select shape layer and press p and let's move it down and create new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframes move to up go to 10 keyframes move to down again 10 keyframes move to up again move to down and again for bounce animation and say Q frames make easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Say Q frames, right mouse and Q frame interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Nice, very good. And in this time, hold shift press S, open scale, click scale icon and change scale like this let's create new scale keyframe go to here and change this 120 and this 80 let's see okay go to next keyframe change this 90 and this 110 and next keyframe change this 105 and this 95 and next keyframe change 100 and this 100 
say two frames make easy let's see okay this is very smooth i like it and select these two frames hold alt move to right and change quality quarter for now nice very good so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck